Welcome, Miracle Makers. What an amazing time it is to be alive right now. If you truly get what is happening at the cosmic level in the stars, what's happening all over Earth, what's happening because of that within your own body, and what's happening inside the Earth, you will feel the excitement that is available for you. I want to say that another way. Right now, the things that make you, you, the components of you, the every part of you is organizing itself in an extraordinary way so that you're able to instantly almost get exactly what you're intending, what you're growing, what is an emotion, energy in motion within yourself. Over 5,000 years ago, and even today, NASA is studying the effect of the stars, the moon, the sun, the energies up here, that which is above us. Wow, that which is above us has an effect and what happens within our bodies has an effect what happens on our earth. How extraordinary is that? So what's happening in the cosmos? What, what's occurring right there? What did they start learning about and make sure to pass down generation to generation? When I walked through the Vatican or through all of these extraordinary places in Sicily and Italy, on the floor that was built first of these places, they had astrology, right? All the cosmology and a hole in the ceiling in the Vatican in these grand churches that let that the sun hit that pathway made of Libra, um, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, all of those astronomy, astrology laid out on the floor, the church, Ah, in Egypt, so is above, so is below. All of the, the temples had the cosmology of the times on their ceiling. In India, in um, all of Europe, in Stonehenge, all of these places. The Freemasons the ones that built the United States. Ah, at summertime, around the 4th of July, around the time they, they studied Confucius, they, um, Benjamin Franklin, many of his quotes are the rewording of Confucius, Chinese philosophy. Why is this important for you today, right? Oh, it's summertime. You made it through some of the most challenging times on the planet. The viruses, the, the diseases of the mind, the diseases of stress that affect the heart, the diseases of the earth. You've gone through that and you've come out the other side to another summer. The Freemasons, the forefathers, the ones that created the first peaceful transfer of power. What makes the United States special was it transferred power Washington, President Washington took two terms. People were demanding he stay. He said, no, 
I'm passing this over. Passed it over to his vice president. New laws in man were created that were natural to the laws in the cosmology, to laws within our heart, laws within the earth. So let me state all of that all over again. So it really sets for you what actions to take, what to do, how to understand this so that your life just continues to be the miracle, continues to be the greatest intentions, continues to serve the way in which you want, the way in which you intend, the way in which you get to move forward all life. So the tiniest molecule atom within you is organized the same way as the stars, as the, the, um, the sun being orbited by all of the planets. Inside your body is your own sun is the part of you that generates bursts of light. Every second that your heart is beating, there is this electric, electric, electricity that your heart generates. That electricity moves throughout your heart and your heart becomes a pump and pumps out the blood. Some goes into the lung to get oxygenated. Other go throughout all of your body. Oh, so there is all of this energy from spirit of the sun, the moon, what NASA is studying, what has been written about in these temple walls. This astronomy, this astrology, this effect that it has on you. You know, during the full moon, all of this lunacy, hospitals fill up. We knew in the hospitals during that time, everyone has a little bit more chaos in their field. During the new moon, during planetary alignments, your own personal atoms, the own, your own personal parts that make you up are affected. When you took your first breath, you locked in a particular location, time and space inside your body and your breath. When you took your first breath and every breath sense the earth knew exactly where you are. Gravity, right? Gravity, the magnetic earth. Guess what? Your heart is a magnet. Yale, heart math, all of that have studied all of this about you. How fantastic is that? So, we know that a particle separated, right? One particle separated in half, let's do it like this. You spin this one in, in a lab. This one, they can measure it up to 14 miles away without having any connection to this begin spinning the same way instantly your blood your bones are made up of the component of the stars carl sagan all the science states this so all of the stars rotating moving um, in the laws of the universe fulfilled following their own gravity 
following their own formula, those laws, those movements, those spins are alive within you. And this time, the laws, the spin, all of that says, for those that do this, you've got the energy of the cosmos alive within you. What is this that you are to do? What is it? The field, the energy, the, the welcomed spirit. Let me say that another way. So if you were swimming in the ocean, right? If you were on a boat, you jumped off the boat, got into the ocean, you can feel the immersion of all of that. Um, on the temperature, you become one with it. Well, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the energies of this star alignment, the moon, what's been studied, what is known by the great, great grandmothers and the researchers that made sure to make sure their future generations understood this, right? they put onto the walls, they put on, and they put together a system. This, they understood that this month, the energies, what all of the alignment is saying, everything is emotional manifestation. As much as you forgive and forget the past, as much as you carry the past with you without wanting it to be different in any shape or form, truly forgiving, truly forgetting. And the more action you take this month, the more incredible your life and all of life becomes. So the Freemasons that set up this country, the, uh, the forefathers, uh, um, 4th of July, that energy occurs every year. Fireworks, celebration, freedom. First country to declare a peaceful transfer of power. How incredible. The more that you're willing to accept who you are, forgive and forget anything that you're not, the more you feel safe in your physical body and in your home environment, oh my gosh, the more of that spinning atom within yourself, that drag. What, what is the drag? Your body, your heart, every part of you moves at the speed of light and at the speed of the slowest stillness within you. Let me say that another way. <laughs> Gandhi had as much time every day as you do. And Gandhi used to sew his own clothes. He cleaned the ashram home that he lived in. Everyone had exactly the same tasks. Very, very humble. And yet moved the largest um, uh, uh, imperialism to give the land back, transfer it back. Again, all through peace, following the laws of nature, same amount of time. What's my point? Whatever it is, your big thing, whatever is coming forward, the emotional, we here at Miracle Makers break up the word emotion into 
energy in motion. Your energy in motion. You are. This is what you are. Energy. <laughs> Your heart is creating it. Your body is creating 98.6 degrees. Your mind is catching all of these incredible ideas and thoughts that are just sounds strung together. You put them into meaningful experiences for your mind, your heart, your entire being. Given enough energy in motion, you could lift a car or a truck if it was on something that meant something to you. We have so much evidence of hysterical strength. What is hysterical strength? A mother sees a baby under uh, 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 um, pinned under a tree. The mother, energy and motion, no thought can lift that tree, pull her baby out. When you ask her what happened there, she's like, I just knew I had to move it. I just, I wasn't thinking. I just knew I had to save my baby. Hysterical strength. There's also hysterical paralysis. Oh my gosh. Something traumatic happened, got repressed within the body. And now the body isn't moving. Hysterical paralysis. A woman that was raped at night could never be outside at night. And one day she found herself outside walking and it went from light to dark and she, and literally her body stopped. Hysterical paralysis. EMT had to come and, and working with her when she understood, oh, I was raped at night. During the work of reigniting her heart, her, you have stem cells inside your heart. She was able to animate her body at night again when she was by herself. Why am I bringing this up right now? In this, you've got hysterical strength in some areas of your life. You've got hysterical paralysis, and you may not be aware of it. And cosmology, the energy of the cosmos, the moon is pouring down all of this energy, like you being off that boat in the ocean, the ocean of the, all of this alignment is happening for you. Oh, so you've got to let go and you've got to get clear on what lights up your heart, on what gets your energy in motion to manifest. Oh. You've got to use your form in order to move forward all of the stillness and all of the rays of light within you to serve the greatest joy that comes through you. So let me say that all another way, and then we're going to switch into connecting and getting um, related, answering your questions, making sure what it is that you came here to get, you got. <laughs> okay, so set very clearly in words that make you emotional. Write it down. What do you want? And then that's one, what do you want? Number two, what are you letting go of? If your hands and energy field 
are full. You've got to let go. It might be an idea. It might be, you might have held on to some grudge or anger and not spoken to someone in a number of years. Doesn't mean you have to be friends with them, but not speaking because you're holding a grudge is causing hysterical paralysis. Speaking to them releases any of that energy and no, and saying to them something to the effect of, thank you. I love my life now. And it doesn't have to be literally on the phone. It has to be in your emotional energy field. And whether you 100% love your life or are generating the emotion to love your life, that letting go of the past, forgiving, forgetting, accepting it, making it what acceptance, making it the story of it work for you. Wow, the power you unleash inside yourself because of what is in the field, what is in the ocean of that moon's energy, the, the star alignment. Deepak Chopra, I, I love quoting him. Uh, we have many women within Miracle Makers Academy that are pregnant. Wow. These miracle making pregnant women, right? It's an amazing thing to understand. Wow, bringing babies into this world, life going on. You were once a baby. Inside your mother's womb, you trusted everything would be okay. You're all of your parts would become made. And then at some point, the lucky ones initiated their own transition out of the womb. They came out of the womb and into Earth's womb. Earth, right? And the lucky ones choose to graduate to the cosmic womb, my grandparents told us the day that they were going to die. So their grandkids and their kids and their great grandkids, and everyone could come to them and say goodbye prior to them leaving. Satguru's wife said, I'm complete. She checked out with her heart, her body completely well. She exited the earth womb. Man, it's a powerful way to choose to exit this world, to exit the earth's womb. Inside your mother's womb, you trusted everything. Wow, being inside the earth's womb, it's great to trust everything, especially yourself. So beautiful. In my near death experiences, I didn't know it when I was 19 what the Oscars were or the red carpet was. <laughs> One of my clients took me to the Oscars. And in that moment, some people call it like a deja vu, but in that moment, I dropped into a deep, memory of a near-death experience of, wow, Barbara Streisand on the stage. I always knew I'd, I'd meet her, right? I always knew I'd experience her. I never sweated when she came to town or had a concert. I knew since age 19, I didn't know who she was until I saw her in a movie, near-death experiences, having these near-death experiences 
from 14 to 19, I caught the in the field that I would be at the Oscars, not knowing they were the Oscars. Why am I bringing that up for you? Why am I sharing? Your body is already prepared for all of the challenges, all of the opportunities. It already knows, you already know, it's amazing. When you, for my near-death experiences, I could have been on the stage many times from the age of 14 until even today, I get offered being in different things, television shows, that sort of thing. Um, at a young age, my parents were afraid of me going into, because um, they heard the stories of uh, the couch auditions. And my parents were like, no child of mine is going to do couch auditions. So, and I wasn't bold enough. It's all true, right? I would... If I had been bold, I would have been up there on stage at the Oscars. Through the boldness level that I was, I was in the audience. If I had been less bold, I might be one of the people physically serving the, um, at every break. They brought out popcorn. They brought out waters if we needed them. They um, had stand-ins. I might be one of the people assisting to make sure the show looks fantastic, the Oscars look fantastic, and it goes on. Your life shrinks or expands according to your boldness. How bold are you willing to be this month with your emotional manifestation powers at full capacity? How willing are you to be at home in your body and feel safe? How willing are you to generate life and trust it inside your body so that the magnetic force, the magnetic love that goes from your heart feeds you, feeds the region around you with stem cells, with energy, with love, feeds and connects to you and gives to all that you cherish on Gaia, as, as Gaia was named, Gaia, the Greek goddess, those myth, mythological stories. Einstein once said, Einstein said the most beautiful things. He said, um, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. So uh, welcome to the fairy tale of your life. Woo! The stars are dancing alive within your body, within your atoms. Your heart is replenishing every part of your body along with, wow, every part and uh, of earth and everywhere you choose to be. And going from that, oh my gosh, the earth is constantly taking whatever you give her, composting that and giving it back to you in a manner that serves the greatest good that can come through you. So what do you want? What are you willing to let go of? And then that third part, are you willing to form a habit, form a ritual, form a process that allows you to practice feeling, receiving, enjoying that which you want? that which you let go of? Are you willing to bring a practice in? All right, uh, I can't wait to hear from you in the comments 
and to connect with you on this one. Let's stop this recording here. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Dr. Sarah Larson. For those that are catching this for the first time, you just watched our part of the Miracle Makers monthly experience. And we're going to jump into questions and answer specifically why you're here today and get you some really clear guidance. Welcome. 